many who understand everything I have said to you who would commit political suicide by recommending that deal to his electors. So we move quite aware of the consequences we move towards disaster. I don't think we're going to stop very much short of 450 parts per million. If we manage to stop there, it will require a miracle. So there's going to be some work, quite a lot. And all of the Arab world is in the subtropics, which are typically low rainfall areas, where you can only get one crop a year off the land. I mean, you know, in the tropics they can get up to three sometimes, but right through the subtropics, one. I mean, the subtropics would include, for example, Mexico and the Caribbean countries. It includes not only the countries of North Africa, but also Southern Europe. I mean, Spain and Italy, Greece, just as much as Algeria and, and Libya and, and Jordan. And then in the greater Middle East, extending out past uh, Afghanistan and Pakistan and into the former Soviet sands and so on. And all that is the subtropics. So is most of Australia, so is most of Southern Africa, and so on. These areas will suffer a very serious drop in rainfall. Already scarce rainfall, but a very significant loss of rainfall, up to half in some areas. Now, one of the pieces of wisdom they don't teach you in school is when you can get one crop a year with this amount of rainfall, you don't get half a crop a year with half the rainfall. You get none. So the countries in the subtropics, and that does include the countries in the northern Mediterranean, are facing very grave dangers. Exacerbated by the fact that their population density, their real population density, already requires them to import a great deal of food. 